Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I run a website called vegilcar.co.uk. I take ordinary waste vegetable oil, I clean it and I run my car on it. Now this video is going to be talking about setting up a settling tank. Now if you're not 100% sure what settling is, have a look at one of my other videos out there called Understanding Settling, but it's a very easy way of filtering waste vegetable oil and getting out the bulk of the rubbish. So what do we need? Well, obviously we need a tank, and by tank I mean a barrel. And first off, don't buy brand new. There's really no need for it. You're looking at a recycled product. Some people like steel barrels. I personally prefer plastic barrels. And you can normally get them at a very reasonable price. Uh, the plastic barrel that you can see here in this picture is actually straight from the shipping industry. I think this particular one was used to ship orange juice, but they use them to ship grain and, well, all manner of foodstuffs, basically. And then, because they're stupid and wasteful, uh, they get rid of them rather than cleaning them out and recycling them. But it does mean that you can usually get them at a really good price. And they're very big, very strong barrels and usually come with a lid as well, which is fantastic. Now, the choice of steel versus plastic, that's up to you. But I like plastic because, one, it's got built-in insulation values. Uh, two, it's nice and light, and three, it's really easy to work with. Now this particular barrel here that you can see, this I think is 220 litres, which is a fantastic size, especially when you're looking at fuel for a vehicle. Now the very first thing we're going to do with our tank is, funnily enough, we're going to put a hole in the bottom. Now why, you say, do you want to put a hole in the bottom? You will be amazed. At some point in time, you're going to want to empty that tank, I guarantee it. So what I always do is I always put a nice release valve at the bottom. Now I have a habit of using quarter turn lever valves. They're fantastic. They're cheap and they're so easy to use. So there you go. You can see one in that image there. So I always set up some kind of release valve at the bottom and that, that stays closed 99.9999% of the time. You're going to be so grateful one day that you've got that there when you've got to empty a 200 litre barrel. So the next thing to think about is we, we've got to get the oil out. So we're going to need an outlet. We're going to need a faucet, as the Americans like to say, or a tap, as we say here in the UK. And where are we going to position that tap? Well, we don't put it right to the bottom, which is where you might think of putting it. We want it to be... It doesn't. Well, there's no actual set position, but we don't want it on the bottom. We want a good few inches clearance from the bottom. Because it's a settling tank, most of the rubbish is going to fall to the bottom, which is where we want it. So we want it to fall below the height of the tap. So we always set the tap, let's say a quarter of the, the height of the barrel from the bottom. I know that seems quite wasteful, but trust me, you're going to want that. You need that space, that bit at the bottom there, that's your insurance, that's your cleaning factor, that is your filter. So you force it, your outlet tap, that goes a good quarter of the way up. So now we know how to get the oil out, how do we get it in? Well, obviously, it's going to go in through the top. You've got a great big hole at the top there where you're going to pour stuff in. But why not be a bit clever about it? Why not introduce a filter system right at the very beginning? And we can do this simply by mounting an ordinary board, a bit of MDF, a bit of plywood, whatever you've got. Use that as a lid and then cut a hole in that lid. And what size hole? Well, that's going to depend on what you're going to use. I've before now had holes that will support filter socks. I've also cut holes that will house a big sieve. Uh, my personal preference is to cut a hole to hold a 10 inch funnel. And inside that funnel I usually house a, a rough filter. And when I say rough, I'm talking about 100 microns. Now with this gauge of filter, the whole point is it will allow the oil to pass through very easily, but it will stop the bulk of the physical matter, the crumbs, any sort of fag ends or all sorts of things that you're getting of waste vegetable oil. However, the fats will probably go through it because they're in a liquid state, but that's what the settling tank's all about. So there you go, now we can get the oil in and we can get it out. And inside this tank, all the the settling is going to take place, all the natural filtration. Fantastic. But is it perfect? Well, no, it isn't. Of course, it isn't. There are refinements we can do. Uh, what you have to think of with settling is where is the cleanest oil? And the answer is, of course, right at the top. It's the, the 
dirty stuff's at the bottom, the clean stuff's at the top. So in an ideal world, you want to get the oil out that's as close to the surface as you can. But if you look inside your settling barrel, you'll also find that there's normally a surface scum. I don't know what that is really, but it, it never looks particularly nice. And my view is, I don't want it in my engine, thank you. So I always try to avoid taking the surface of the oil as well. So we're looking to get the oil that's maybe a quarter of an inch below the surface. Now there are ways of doing this, and you can go a bit crazy with this, but bear with me. Now one method I could use, and I have used in fact, is what I call the float method. And here I actually took a float, which is the sort of thing you, you would find is a ball float actually, and you'd find it at your local plumbing supplier I suppose. And it floats on the surface, exactly on the surface, and underneath I have an, an outlet which connects right up to my faucet, my tap. So in other words, it always floats as close to the surface as possible without touching the surface. And of course it will never flow lower than the height of the faucet. So therefore I always retain the oil in the tank. It doesn't run empty, which is great. I never get the surface scum and I'm getting the nice clean oil out all the time. The problem with this, of course, it is a bit slow. I'll be honest, it takes forever to get the oil out doing it that way. It comes out, it's clean, but it takes a long time. So another approach is to actually forget about that so much um, and think, well, it's already clean enough. I'm happy enough with that, but I don't want to get the surface come out. So then what you're going to want to do is you might want to put a kink on the faucet before it comes out. Now here you can see what I mean. It doesn't make a lot of sense when I say it like that, but if you look here, you can see that the outlet is actually pointing down lower than the actual height that it comes out, if that makes sense. So in other words, it can't, again, it cannot run empty. It cannot empty out the tank. Uh, the very worst it can do is run to the, the level of the outlet there. It can't go any lower than that. And as such, it will never ever pull out the surface the surface scum as I say which we just don't want now these are methods both methods I've used in the past and they work they really do but there's an even easier method which does require a little bit of plumbing and it does require the use of clear hose and that's simply that there we go we use two tank connectors and we set one very low lower than the height of the faucet and one very high running right up to the top of the tank really and this allows us to see the level of the oil within the tank so we've always got a, a gauge of how much we've got inside our tank and of course it also allows us to draw a little line on on there and say right that's the height of my tap i never want to draw out more than that you know draw yourself a little red warning indicator no more than this you say to yourself and that's it and that's the easiest way and that's the way that I tend to use these days it's very simple so are we finished yet well we can be but I've got yet another refinement for you and I don't think I've seen this done anywhere yet now you remember that I mentioned that I like using funnels well there's a reason for that it occurs to me that every time you pour anything into your settling tank you're agitating the content and the whole point behind settling is you don't want to agitate anything. You want to keep it nice and still. That allows things to settle. Once you pour in 20 litres of oil or so, you're, you're going to stir it up. You are. And that's no good. So it struck me, why not put a length of pipe all the way to the bottom of the tank? That way, when the oil is introduced, you're introducing it through the pipe all the way to the bottom. And hopefully agitating the content as little as possible you are still going to agitate it you've got to but you're minimizing the amount of agitation that takes place and not only that yet making sure that you're introducing your oil to the point where it's dirtiest which is at the bottom and so you're not risking mixing up all your nice clean oil that's at the top so it makes sense doesn't it so now when you think about it my funnel now goes into this pipe and everything drops in nicely to the very bottom of the tank and doesn't disturb anything isn't that clever now <laughs> one more little thought for you if you've seen my really easy cubie method of 
uh, filtering oil you can use that with this to have an absolutely brilliant system and that's that you take your QB, you put it on top of your settling tank that's got a hundred micron filter already built into it you poke a little hole and you let the oil come out nice and slow it dribbles in through that pipe goes all the way to the bottom barely agitates the content at all and so you only got to worry about leaving that a couple of days afterwards before you've got to think about taking any out but obviously the longer you leave the oil inside the settling tank the better it will settle at least a week ideally I always say a fortnight I've heard people talk about months and I think that's a bit daft but at least a fortnight and you'll be fine and I think that's actually it I can't think of anything else to talk about with settling tanks if you have any questions you can contact me via my website which is www.federalcar.co.uk I am always happy to receive emails about the subject of federal motoring and I'll do my best to help you though I don't claim to be an expert also if you kind enough to subscribe to my videos I would appreciate it as it helps me to spread the good word of federal motoring so thanks for watching